A straight line can be drawn between kids who grew up playing Pokemon Snap to adults who have Instagram accounts for their pets. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? That's for you to decide, friends. What I do know is that the classic Nintendo 64 spin-off is a light, breezy affair in which your only job is to ride around a vibrant 3D world taking snaps of all your favourite Pokemon. Pikachu, Meowth, the other slightly less marketable ones. They're all here, and by all, I mean a reasonable amount that's possible to keep track of. We're already dying to get our hands on the Nintendo Switch sequel later this year, even if the title of New Pokemon Snap is one of the least imaginative things we've ever heard. Confession time, friends. When I was younger, I had absolutely no idea how to play the official Pokemon trading card game. Sure, I collected the cards, traded with friends, and cried when sweaty adult scalpers bought up all the booster packs in my local Sainsbury's. You know, the standard experience. But I never got into playing with them for years. In spite of that, I adored the trading card game, and that passion kept me invested enough to finally learn how to play. But that's the magic of Pokemon TCG. It's this entirely different branch of Pokemon that manages to feel like a whole new dimension in its own right. Whether you're into collecting the classic cards, looking for hardcore matches, or just like picking up booster packs every now and again, there's something for everyone. Take it from me though, if you decide to pick up a few cheap cards off eBay after nearly 20 years, you'll find yourself right back in the thick of it. The best version of the games that started it all. What can I say about Pokemon Yellow that hasn't already been said a million times over? Kanto remains an entirely flawless creation, as do the 151 Pokemon that inhabit it. Yes, even that one that looks a bit like three willies sticking out of the ground. Across eight gyms and countless battles, the bond formed with your original party of six Pokemon as you level them up from weedy monsters to epic champions is truly the stuff of gaming legend. If I could bottle the feeling I felt the first time I caught Mewtwo, beat the Elite Four, or saw my Charmander evolve, well, I'd never let it go. I'm a man of simple tastes. I like Pokemon. I like Pinball. If you put the two together, I'm obviously going to be interested. Sure enough, Pokemon Pinball Ruby and Sapphire is one heck of a game, managing to combine the intense high score action of Pinball with the reward of catching and training Pokemon. I don't know how it works, I'm just glad that it does. Back in 2003 when 3D Pokemon games were the kind of thing that could only exist on a home console, Pokemon Colosseum was the story driven RPG that we'd been clamouring for. But where a standard Pokemon game had you explore and catch monsters in a bright and vibrant world, Colosseum told a much darker story about a freedom fighter working to save Pokemon that had been kidnapped and experimented on. The big twist on the formula in Colosseum was that instead of catching wild monsters, players would instead get their new Pokemon from trainer battles. You couldn't just leg it with any old monster though, and would need to identify and rescue corrupted monsters with darkness in their hearts. Definitely worth checking out if it passed you by. The very first Pokemon games on Game Boy Advance really kicked things up a notch for the franchise. The beautifully designed third generation monsters remain some of the best in the series, from the imposing Kyogre and Groudon to the adorable Mudkip. There's also Hoenn itself, a tropical paradise made up of vast, deep oceans, rocky mountain ranges, and lush green forests. There isn't a single region in Pokemon I wouldn't want to visit, but Hoenn might just top the list of my dream summer destinations. I'd probably steer clear of the active volcano, mind you. Listen here, kids. There was a time when seeing your Pokemon fight in 3D was a novelty. Before Pokemon Stadium and its sequel came out, we had to use our action figures. And if we didn't have action figures, we had to shut our eyes tight and imagine. It was exhausting. Pokemon Stadium 2 didn't exactly change that much when compared to its predecessor, but it didn't need to. As well as any good sequel, Stadium 2 added in more content, more ways to play, and plenty more ridiculously hard minigames that could be played alone or with friends. Thankfully, there's nothing quite as intense as the Clefairy minigame from the original. Well, Pokemon Go is a dead game and mobile games aren't real games anyway. I hear the most boring idiots out there cry. Silence yourself. <laughs> While you were typing angry messages about mobile titles ruining gaming alone in your bedroom, the rest of us were outside enjoying Pokemon Go in the sun. No, not nearly as many people play it now as they did back at launch, but keeping up such incredible numbers would have been impossible. Whether you still play it or not, and it's still great by the way, I think we can all appreciate that for one glorious summer, the world was united in its love for Pokemon. Pokemon Go made that happen, and we should never forget it. Back in 1999, I wasn't really sure how it would be possible to improve on a game like Pokemon Gold. 
Granted, I was only six and didn't understand that much about video game design, but I was blown away with all the shiny new Pokemon, as well as the ability to explore Kanto and Johto. Fast forward ten years and Pokemon HeartGold SoulSilver, the DS remakes of the Game Boy Classics, built on an already incredible pair of titles. Absolutely everything that made the original game so great remains completely intact, improved by overhauled visuals and battle effects that breathe new life into the two regions. Throw in new features like touchscreen controls, new Pokemon and the ability to battle and trade online and you've got yourself a damn near perfect couple of games. Actually, you know what? Pokemon HeartGold SoulSilver are just flat out perfect. There, I said it.